What's up guys, Pax here, and in today's video we're reviewing the K100 from Corsair. Let's get into it. So this is the box for the K100 RGB Corsair keyboard. This will run you about 230 bucks roughly. In this one, I do have the optical mechanical silver switches. And this keyboard also works with IQ. The top of the box does have this textured pattern on it throughout the top. And the actual keyboard portion of the box is glossy and smooth. On the back of the box, it does give you a bunch of details about the keyboard and the switches that it does use and tells you some of the softwares that can go along with the uh, keyboard itself, such as Stream Deck and IQ. So now that we're inside the box, you can get a good look of the keyboard itself. Um, it is a aluminum frame. Uh, it is all black. I know in the photos it might look a little bit gray, um, but it is completely black. So this keyboard does get plugged in by two USBs. They are quality feeling. It is a braided cable all the way down to the keyboard. So as soon as you plug in the keyboard, it comes up with any lighting profiles that you already have saved on the IQ software. If not, it will just be a rainbowed uh, color wave, which you can go through IQ and change that. On the bottom of the keyboard, you do have this removable wrist rest, which is like a rubberized leather feeling wrist rest. Um, with the same pattern that was on the top of the box on the wrist rest as well. And the padding goes to the complete edge of the wrist rest, whereas on the K95, there was a plastic bezel that went along the edge. On the bottom of the wrist rest, you do have the Corsair logo with this yellow square. So it, uh, I don't know why they chose yellow. It doesn't really go with anything on most computer setups, but it's there. It looks, it does look nice, so I can, can't complain there. On the other side of the keyboard, there is macro keys, and you have six of them. The top of the keys have this glossy silver finish that's very smooth compared to the K95, which had this matte gray finish that had texture on it. I do prefer the smooth finish a lot better. At the top of the keyboard, you do have your volume scroll wheel, which does have a rubberized feeling to it, whereas on the K95, it was like mostly just plastic. The mute button and your Windows lock key um, is a flat design rather than on the K95, it did raise up to match up with the uh, scroll wheel. The center of it, they swapped out from having the Corsair logo light up. They went for this black, what looks like a screen, but it's really not. It's just a Corsair logo in the middle, and then you have these light up functions that will light up with scroll lock, num lock, caps lock, and even the windows lock as well. On the right side of the top of the keyboard, you do have your IQ control wheel, as well as the IQ button in the middle to open IQ. So on this keyboard, I do have the silver optical mechanical switches. I know they also have another version of it. And if you look into the switch, the switch is actually clear with the LED at the top portion of the switch. The other thing you can do, like what I have on my K95, is I have put-in keycaps. So the sides of the caps are clear so that the whole keyboard shines and not just the top portion of the keycaps. With the K95, they have a custom Corsair bottom row. So I did have to order a separate set of put-in keycaps just for that to fit on this. But on this K100, it looks like Corsair went with a standard bottom row. The other differences compared to the K95 is the K95 has one light bar that goes across the whole top of the keyboard. This one also has that light bar that goes across the top of the keyboard, as well as a light bar that goes across the sides on both sides of the keyboard. So it gives this illusion of light floating down onto the mouse pad or the desk. So everything with this keyboard can be controlled through the IQ application, such as lighting effects, uh, profiles, you can do your macro keys, which can be set to any key except for the IQ scroll wheel. So you can set different macro keys for different applications or even uh, like what I have on the K95 is I have some different profiles, lighting profiles set to these macro keys. You can control all the lighting on the keyboard through this application as well, even the scroll wheel and the middle logo, as you can see here. To add options to this 
wheel that they added at the top of the keyboard, you can come down here to color wheel. And this will let you set different colors um, for when you turn the wheel, it can make it brighter, dimmer, you know, you can set different actions for that wheel in this setting right here. So as you can see, as I turn the wheel, the lights on the keyboard do get dimmer. And as I turn the wheel the other way, they do get brighter. When you press the center of the button, it will change the different um, actions that using the scroll wheel will do. So as you can see, as I press the button, it will change from brightness control to track changing to action playback. And you can set a bunch of different ones just by turning on these toggle switches. So there's one for switching applications, vertical scrolling, horizontal scrolling, or even zoom. And you can add your own as well. And there's a bunch of different things you can do with it. So depending on what you use the keyboard for, whether it's gaming, doing business, checking emails, or even doing some editing on Adobe Premiere or Photoshop, you can change the scroll wheel to do whatever you want. So say you are editing a photo on Photoshop, you can set the wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So it is a little bit helpful if you are into that type of thing, that scroll wheel does become very useful. So that's it for today, guys. That was the brand new K100 keyboard from Corsair for you. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or what you would like to see next, please leave it in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll catch you later.